Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Netta Ave Maria. Happy Labor Day weekend. I am coming to you with a end of unofficial end of summer, start of fall, vocasm orange makeup tutorial. I hope you love this tutorial. I hope you like the look. I will link all the products that I use down in the description box. But before we get started, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, give it a like. If you want to comment, got feedback, please comment in the comment box. And don't forget to hit that bell so you get all the notifications whenever I upload a video. So uh, let's go ahead and get started, right? So I've already done my eyebrows um, off camera. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with foundation. So for today, I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. And I'll link my shade as well uh, in the description box if you'd like to know what shade I am because I don't know right off the top. So I'm going to get some of that. And to apply this foundation, I am going to use my Sephora number 66 press full, full coverage brush. Um, I do like this brush. It's really good for full coverage. It allows you to uh, evenly ap apply the foundation in a dime or a teardrop shaped uh, sizes and amount. So it's really good um, if you want that full coverage look, which that's what I'm going for. And I do like to apply my foundation in dots like this because for me, I just believe that it gives me uh, the most even amount of coverage when I do it this way. So that's how I like to do it. Uh, a lot of people just apply directly on the brush, but for me, I found that it's easier for me to do it this way. And then I do when I when I'm going for a full coverage look, I do apply foundation to my neck and chest because unfortunately I do have uh, acne scars and so I want it to look even um, down into my chest area and neck and chest area. So as you can see, you just press the foundation in and look at that, look at that, see that? This is definitely a full, beautiful, it, I love MAC um, foundation. It gives such a full coverage. Um, it does have a slight chemical type smell to it, but I don't mind that. I mean, it's foundation. Um, so I do love MAC for full coverage, and I do also love... So I have three loves for full coverage foundation. It's my Max Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, Huda Beauty Foundation, as well as the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation that just came out. Um, and I love it, first of all, because it has a very diverse, it has a very uh, Too Faced, that is the Born This Way Foundation. It has a very diverse line, and that is a big, that's a big um, thing for me when I look at a brand, is how diverse is the makeup line. Because to me, if, if the shade ranges of foundation are diverse, then to me that means the company is diverse. And, you know, as a melanated girl, you know, as a black girl, diversity means a lot to me. Not saying that it doesn't mean a lot to everybody, but diversity in the foundation line um, for a brand is definitely a big deal for me. And then I'm just gonna blend that up into the hairline. And there you go. Beautiful. I love that. But yeah, I like Too Faced Born This Way Foundation um, for two reasons. Because the line is very diverse. And also because um, Jackie Ina 
uh, help them formulate the shade. So I think that's really cool too um, because they got her involved. And to me, she's very experienced um, with foundation, makeup in general. The girl's a, ge a genius. So to me, that was very important because they had a sister help them formulate their shade range. And I felt like I have a lot of Too Faced everything in the first place. Um, their concealer, primers, all of that. Um, so to me, when they decided to expand their uh, foundation range, that meant a lot to me that they sought her out to uh, collaborate and help with that to make sure that they appealed to people of multiple uh, skin shades. So that, kudos to you Too Faced. I do love that. And then Huda Beauty. I love Huda Beauty. And then MAC. So those are my three go-to brands for foundation. All right. Well, full coverage foundation, that is. So as you can see, that was really quick. That was the foundation. So now I want to go ahead and move into concealer. Um, and so that, again, was my MAC Studio Fix Full Coverage. I mean, I would be happy leaving out the house like this and just drawing a nude shade and a gloss on my lips because it's beautiful coverage. But uh, we're going for a full-on look today. So for concealer, I am using my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I am in the color Caramel. So I'm going to take this. This is this. This is a full coverage concealer. And I'm just taking my Sephora Airbrush Concealer brush to do this. And as you can see, with this brush, I just dab, dab, dab under the eye. And like I said, uh, you can do this with a beauty blender as well. I just happened to grab my brushes this morning uh, especially since I'm using this concealer so I wanted to be able to use my brush and once again this is a, a high coverage concealer so just under the eye come down the bridge of my nose and I like that it's soft and matte too And then under the other eye. So what are you guys doing for your Labor Day weekend? I'll tell you, here in Colorado, they have a lot of fun things going on for Labor Day weekend. Um, so I'm going to take the kids over to the park and we're going to listen to the music and all of that as I'm just getting my forehead as you can see here and we're gonna listen to the band and we're gonna eat good food and it's gonna be an awesome Labor Day weekend and then also um, the Colorado State Fair is going on as well so we're gonna be looking at that too now for this look I will not be doing a strong contour I, I mean it's not needed. I'm not, you know, going out anywhere that requires me to have a contour um, that sling. You no, know, just a typical day. But I did want to celebrate the coming of fall with this look. So I love this look because it's going to be fiery enough. To say, you know, we're still in summer. It's technically still summer. But then it's toasty enough to celebrate the coming of fall. So there you go. With my concealer. Bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, chin. Guys, I am a perfectionist, so 
I do apologize ahead of time. So now I'm just going to set that with my Laura Mercier uh, translucent setting powder. And I'm just going to shake some of that and get it into the lid here. And then I am going to use a brush. So I'm just using this brush. It doesn't have a name. I just dip some of that in there. And then what I do is I press on my back of my hand to get the excess off. And then go under my eyes with that. Everywhere that I put concealer. And this I'll leave on until I'm done with my eyeshadow down the bridge of the nose. Pick up some more forehead area. And you just press it in. So once again, you can do this with a beauty blender as well. I just got my brushes out today. So I'm using my brush, my powder brush. And this one doesn't have a name, so. Just everywhere you put concealer. And then also, I'm not doing a contour, but I'm still going to sculpt out my face and define it a bit. So I'm going to put it along here to have a little bit of definition for my face. So yeah, three day weekend. It's so nice to be able to have this extra time to spend with the kiddos. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that set. And then we're gonna get into the eyes. And for the eye look, I am using my Urban Decay Born to Run Eyeshadow Palette. I am so in love with this palette right now. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. It's such a pretty palette. So I am going to be taking the colors Steel Shot. I'm going to use Baja. And I'm going to use Accelerate to create this orange look. So, sorry, I got a little powder on myself. So I want to use my Sephora Airbrush Crease Blending Brush to pick up Steel Shot. And Steel Shot is this light orange color here. And I am going to put that all over my lid. And this palette is highly pigmented, so I do love that about it. It's a highly pigmented palette. I love it. Born to Run, Urban Decay. This is like uh, definitely one of my new favorites. So definitely for eyeshadows, uh, Urban Decay. I like some of Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. I do have their um, Sweet Peach palette, but definitely Urban Decay, Anastasia Beverly Hills for eyeshadows, and what else? Uh, and Huda Beauty. So those are my top, you know, brands that I love for eyes. Anastasia Beverly Hills, Urban Decay, and Huda Beauty. So now I've got Steel Shot all over my lids. So there you go. And I'll just drag it out a little bit to create a little bit of a wing there. And now I'm going to take Baja. And I'm going to use this uh, Sephora Airbrush Crease Brush. And I'm going to put that in the crease and all over the lower lid. And I'm going to drag that out a little bit to create a wing. See? Woo! I love this look. It's so pretty.
just do the other side. So this is just, I call it vocasmic orange. We're just pulling it up into the crease. Outer corner and up into the crease. And you see I'm creating that little bit of wing there. See, there you go. All right, and so now I'm going to take with my fingers the color Accelerate. So that was Baja, and I'm going to take Accelerate. It's like this darker orange shimmery color, and I'm just going to put that all over the inner quarter in the lid. And this, again, is the color Accelerate. All over the lid. And it is the focal point. Now I just like to do this with my fingers for precision. And now I'm going to go back to that crease brush I had. I'm going to flip it over on the other side. And I'm going to take the color Hell Ride and put it on both the inner and outer corners. To give it that lava look. And I'm just packing that in. Oh, yeah. I just kind of move the brush back and forth in that area there to blend it out. And 
there you have it. That's the eyes. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take still shot. And then I'm going to bring that around. Then I'm going to take Baja. And then I'm going to come back to that crease brush since it already has some product left on it. And I'm just going to flip it on the side and apply that directly on the lash line, lower lash line. I'm just flipping it over to get wild hell right on there. There you go. And now I can come back and take that brush I had and wipe off all this powder. And that's why I like to leave the powder on because in case of fallout with the palette, then... Um, the setting powder can catch all of that fallout. And you just sweep it off. There's the look, guys, for the eyes. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my angle brush here. It is a Sephora Pro as well. And I'm going to grab some of my Anastasia Beverly Hills in black. And do under my waterline. So I'm going to go do my waterline with this off camera. And then I'll be right back. All right, and so now I've done my waterline. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer. So for that, I am going to use this brush here. Um, but first off, let's, yeah, let's do bronzer. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Tinted Powder, and I'm also gonna use this to set the other areas of my face. And I have a lot of product on the sponge, so I'm just gonna take my brush and dip it on there. And I do blend that up into the cheekbone. And drag it back. And then this chin line. Nose. So it's kind of like a soft contour, I guess you could say. I'm just not using like an actual contour kit and all of that. I'm just lightly using powder. Okay. And I go over that with my Black Radiance Artisan Baked Bronzer that I got a very, very long time ago from Walgreens. And this stuff is great. I'm just going to twirl my brush into there and pick up some of that and just go right back over that. And the chin line, of course. I am so sorry I left my bathroom line on. I'm going to go turn that off really quickly. 
because it has a fan and that fan's loud as you can hear. So I'm going to pause and turn it off really quick. All right, so that is that. And now blush is also from Makeup Forever. It's an orange blush. I love it. It's so pretty, especially for this look. So an orange blush is befitting, and I'm just using the other end of this Sephora 201 brush. Putting that on there. So for some looks, I will use my NARS palette that has like pink blushes. But for this look, this is really good to use the orange blush. And... I'm going to do my setting spray now. And my setting spray is from Too Faced and it's the Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. Oh, that smells so good. It smells so good. All right, and now I'm going to do my highlighter. And my highlighter is my uh, Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in 003. I just love this highlighter. It's so good. And to apply my highlighter, I'm using my Sephora Pro, my Sephora Pro Featherweight Fan Brush number 92. I'm going to pop that on the lower right underneath the eye down the bridge of the nose make a point the forehead area the chin and the cupid's bow And I'm going to use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm not going to do any uh, lashes for this look because I really want the shadow to be seen. But sometimes I will go ahead and do lashes. And I like to blink to coat the bottom, the waterline. And now to top off this look, I'm going to use my Dior uh, Liqueur uh, Plump Lip Gloss. And this is Dior Pulse. And this is the prettiest orange uh, kind of candy apple shade. And with this, you do one layer for a lip stain. You could do two layers. But I like to go with this look for the number three layer. For that extra shine. And this says that it's a lip plumper, but I don't know. I just think I have, I just think I have big lips. I don't think it uh plumps at all. At least not to me. Okay. And that is it, lovelies. So tell me what you think. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. I will link all the products that I used in the description box. Have a happy Labor Day weekend. And a happy uh, unofficial end of summer. And welcome to fall. Bye.